Today, we will take a behind the scenes look at the rewind process of a three phase motor. The first thing we will need to do is collect the data from the motor. To get started, we'll need to determine the total number of slots, of which there are 48. Additionally, there are a total of 12 groups, which consist of three coils. We also need to determine the number of lead wires. This unit has a total of nine lead wires. The next stage of the process is referred to as the iron work phase. We will start by cleaning the slate which consists of removing any unwanted residue such as debris from slot paper, insulation debris, and magnetic dust which can interfere with the proper operation of the unit. This process of winding the coils is of vital importance because it helps to ensure that each group of coils is correct and to unit specifications. Now we'll need to perform a series of phase tests to ensure proper functionality. The final phase of the process is known as the varnish dip. The purpose for the varnish dip is twofold. One purpose is to electrically insulate and protect the windings and coils from ingress of contaminants. The second purpose is to mechanically secure the coils from movement. Once the unit has been oven heated to seal the varnish, it is ready for installation. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for more videos. For questions about our motor rewind services, including our varnish and bake process, contact us at www.gesrepair.com.